Okay. So just legs crossed, comfortable position. Shoulders relax and down. Just going to move into a side stretch. You take your right arm, inhale the right arm to the ceiling. And as you exhale, just stretch out to the side. So just feeling a lengthening through the side of the body, keeping that right shoulder nice and relaxed. And then sweeping the hand back, fingertips touch down, inhale left. And on your exhale, just moving across to a side stretch. And then releasing the hand back coming back to the center. So from here, if you take your right hand around the edge of your left knee, okay, so opposite hand to knee, so it's the right arm around the edge of the left knee, left fingertips sit behind the body like a prop. Take a breath in, lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, just start to move into a spinal twist. So lower back, mid, through to upper back. So any tightness in your back, just feel this release off and you're looking out over that left shoulder. Feel the twist through your back. And then to come out of this one, if you release the tension with your right hand, slowly release to the center. We're going to go straight onto the other side. Okay, so hand comes around the edge of the knee. Take a breath in. On your exhale, spinal twist. So lower back mid, through to upper, just try and avoid overstraining with the neck, just whatever feels comfortable for you, and then to come out, if you release the tension with the hand, and slowly come back to the centre. Okay, so to stretch the outside of the thigh, if we take your right leg, just place your right leg to the front, Taking your left leg, cross the knee over. Okay, so coming forward slightly here. Just come forward as much as you need to in order to feel the stretch. So holding this position, and you're trying to feel the stretch through the hip and the outer thigh of the bent leg. So if you need to move forward a little more, just to intensify, and just hold and breathe. So just feeling that stretch across the bent leg at the front. And then to come out of this position, just start to ease back slightly, releasing the left leg and just bringing the knees to the front. Have a loosen off. Okay, so switching sides here. So this time the right leg. If you take your right leg, cross it over the left knee. Move forward if you need to. And just see how that feels for your body. So trying to feel the stretch across the hip, outer thigh, and hold and breathe. So just adjust your position if you need to so you can feel it a little bit more. Okay, and then to come out, just release the body back taking off that top leg and if we just bring the legs out straight here we're going to move into a double hamstrings so heels come down hands by your sides taking a breath in on your exhale just forward bend so visualize your folding forward at the waist keeping the back long reaching forward towards the feet and then you can feel your shoulders start to relax feel the neck relax and visualize your hips extending back, heels extending forward to me. It's getting a lot of places this one, hopefully through your back, feeling a loose through your, your spine, backs of the legs, deep hamstrings. And each exhale, just feel the hamstrings begin to lengthen a little further on your exhale. One more breath in to finish. Lightly letting go of the feet. Just beginning to roll back to the center. Shoulders relaxing down. And 
from here, roll it back onto your mat. So one vertebrae at a time. Roll back, stretch the hands out above the head. Reach the fingertips away. So when you've done a lot of forward bending, it's good to counterbalance and do a little back bend to finish. So if you keep your arms above your head, but feel them relax a little bit, bend at the knee, and this time place the ball of the foot down onto the mat. Press into the ball of the foot, start to lift up through the pelvis, take your hips high, and just move in into a back bend. So arching through your back. Just keep breathing into this position, keeping your hips high. Always having the knee and hip in the same line as the toe. And then to release down, we're gonna start with your upper back. So lay the upper back onto the mat, mid, all the way down to lower. When your entire spine is on the mat, bring the knees into the chest, hands come over the head and wrap around the knees, press down slightly, feel your lower back touch onto the mat, have a little relax out from side to side. of your feet together with your hands if you reach through take your hands around the edge of your feet soles of the feet together and your knees are wide draw the feet in towards the body rest your head back onto the mat so trying to get that stretch through the inner thigh loosening off through the hips Just let go of your feet. Place the soles of your feet back down onto the mat. Then just from here, palms turn upwards. Close your eyes just for a couple of breaths. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees fall out to the side. Close your eyes. any tight areas in the hips. And as you exhale, feel the tension release from around the shoulders and the neck. Shoulders relaxed. 